evening, Modesto. I'm Bob Brinkman. And I'm Veronica Shapley. Tonight's story, Aliens. <laughs> That's right, Veronica. Call them what you will, aliens, extraterrestrials, or little green men. Do they walk among us? Some locals would say yes after seeing strange lights up in the sky. Yeah, we saw it land in those woods. It's got to be from outer space. But I'm ready for them. See? Tinfoil hat. <laughs> That'll stop them. Ooh, this is the worst date ever. So, what does the government have to say about this? We have with us again tonight, General W.R. Monger. Thank you, Bob. It's good to be on your fine program again. Some of you may remember the general from those reports of a giant woman spotted at a Modesto wedding. Allegedly spotted, Veronica. Those reports turned out to be entirely unsubstantiated. <laughs> now seriously, General, what do you make of this? Are we being invaded by Martians? Martians? Of course not! So what do you think they saw out there? Well, in my professional opinion, I'd say it was a case of good old-fashioned swamp gas. Swamp gas? Ah, of course. Yes, Mr. President, that's right. Swamp gas. Huh? Works every time. Happy to help, sir. Best of booty. I love my job. Ooh -rah. All right, people, with this supposed alien hoo-ha nonsense put to bed, we can finally get back to some serious business. So, monsters, let's reveal. Once a brilliant scientist researching recumbent DNA and the longevity of certain insects, a tragic accident changed him into a genius, mad genius, Dr. Cockroach, PhD. Other unsung heroes of science also paid the price for unchecked innovation. This time in the snacking industry, when a dessert topping was crossed with a genetically modified tomato. It resulted in a gelatinous mass that consumed several city blocks before it could be contained. Benzoate Australazine bicarbonate. Although, uh, we just call him Bob. General, General Monger, sir? I have a question. What is it, Detrop? Uh, actually, it's it's Detro, sir. The, the, the P is silent. Silent P, huh? That ain't nothing but suspicious, mister. I'll be watching you. Next, when explorers in the Arctic discovered an accidentally thawed half-ape, half-fish missing link, he immediately made for the beach. Where he made a giant pest of himself and set back male-female relations some 10 million years. Now, Insectosaurus, the unfortunate result of the carelessness of Adam Age Man. This behemoth is the reason why radioactive waste and grub worms absolutely do not mix. Just ask Japan. And finally, our newest monster, Giant Norman, or as she still likes to be called, Susan. After being hit by a meteor on her wedding day, she was infused with an unknown extraterrestrial element, after which she grew to a ginormous size. You get it? Pretty good, don't you think? Ginormous. All right, everyone, honeymoon's over. Back to your posts. Now, Detrop, show me my monsters.
Up the radar. I want to see everything. Now bring me some cake. Wait, Can't look at a don't radar. Press that cake. button. Stop. Activate the cameras in monster containment. Hey, Ginormica, if you're not gonna eat your oatmeal, can I have it, huh? Bob, please let the poor girl eat. What? If she wants it later, I can always throw it up again! What does she want to lose? That's not the point. Ginormica here is obviously still trying to adjust to her newfound monsterhood. We should be sensitive. What are you saying, Doc? That we're not sensitive? Uh. Wow, got a little gill in on that one. Besides, think there's anything sensitive about her? Check out those hands, are you kidding? They're like man hands, times a million. Ugh. Okay, that's it. First of all, my name is not Ginormica. It's Susan. And second of all, I do not have man hands. And third, I am not, not a monster. I'm a girl, petite and sweet. Got it? Don't look now, but Miss Petite and Sweet just put her spoon through 18 inches of super steel. <sighs> oh, look, Susan, leave the spoon. We'll just get Monga to give you another one. <clears throat> I don't want another spoon. I want <laughs> Dear, please be reasonable. Where would we go? Hey, how about Monster Beach? Bob, please, there's no such place. Look, I've got to do this. Otherwise, I'll just wind up staying here and settling. And for what? Wait, we'll need my latest invention. <laughs> Oh, for heaven's sake, they're just homemade communicators I happen to whip up, you know, just in case. General Monger, it's a stage four breach. What are we going to do? Hold your fudge, Detrop. I didn't get these birds by turning tail every time some monster showed me his ugly maw. Release the Avenger. Not a roller derby enthusiast. That lot of help you are. Ginormica is entering Sector 7. Seal off all exits. Susan, the doors are closing. We have to get you out of there. No! There's the way out. Relax, Susan. You should be miles away from trouble now. Whoa! Hey! Uh-oh. Miles away, huh, Doug? Well, I could be a little off. Come on, Susan! You're both on wheels! Surely you can outskate this thing! Okay, then. Let's see how you roller boogie. Sir, we have a visual on Ginormica. Understood. Stay back. This is a good test for the Avengers. Subdue target Ginormica! I advise extreme caution. Scanning for monsters! Monster detected! Keep an eye out for monster DNA. You can use it to buy bonusy things in the DNA lab. Pick up multipliers to increase the number of monster DNA you collect. You can multiply the amount you get up to five times, but you will lose one level every time you get hit. Looks like you're all clear. Target you. I should mention that you can jump or double jump over obstacles by using the jump button. You can duck by pressing the crouch button. The laser, Susan! Security section. Close all cargo hatchways in sector 7. 
a rail. Simple, yet effective. Lean your hips, Susan. Lean, lean, lean. Jump next to the walls to ride them. Go on, stick to the walls. Moving into pacification position. Okay, even I gotta say, that's pretty good driving, girly girl. Hey, I thought Susan was skating. She is. Use the dash button to break through. Can't all be super geniuses, can we? Welcome to the DNA Lab. Here, my brilliant invention allows you to trade all the monster DNA you can collect for all sorts of important goodies. Marvelous! More branches await you! point in sending her on a rampage, Paris will thank you. Remember, you must activate the previous nodes of the tree in order to buy new ones. Come on, time to wait. 
press the jump button to jump. When in mid-air, press the jump button again to perform a double jump. The missing link, the automatic missile turret, looks like it's routed through that control panel over there. Use a control console to get things move the target and shoot missiles at enemies or destructible objects. When grabbing an enemy, move the target to lock on. You can then throw the enemy or object at will. The missing link. Try throwing something to get rid of those enemies buzzing around you. schematics. It appears you have to deactivate several more control panels to get to the next area. Oh, and watch out for the mechanized troops. I thought you said this was going to be a piece of cake. Wait, a piece of cake? Really? Why do I bother? against the car rack to use it as a bridge. has opened up another path. From here, we'll need to get you over to the other foot. That's the way inside. Hey, that wasn't bad. Whoa, that was good. Whoa, that was 
Press the strong attack button to perform a tailspin attack. Ah, uh, the missing link. Be careful with those red crates. They could easily explode. like a leap attack. Hold the attack button until you're ready, then release the attack button and select enemies in order to hit them. Await you. Good. Now go and take over the world. Oh, wait. Sorry. That's my job.
Excellent! Remember, you must activate the previous nodes of the tree in order to buy new ones. in order to get more hard to reach items. Security six, close all outside hatchways. All doorways on high alert. Hmm, that door appears to be locked. Why don't you search the room nearby? Grab a crate by getting close to it and pressing the grab release button, then face the target and press the throw button. Teleport in. Ha <laughs> ha! I suspect that's stolen alien technology. Bob, in order to deactivate the shield around the plasma ball, you'll have to first make your way to the power button upstairs. are taking him to the containment area. You're the closest one to help him, Bob. Get up to the watchtower. Subjects are loose in the area. Report any unauthorized monster activity to me at once. Jump on the walls to gather up more hard-to-reach objects and to make your way to the upper area.
pal. Insectosaurus is fully mesmerized! Very good, Bob! On to the next area! Cross over grates, grab a crate before crossing, then press the grab release button to release the crate after you have crossed. Use the conveyor belts, but be very careful of the electrical discharges. Come out, Doctor. It's all right. He won't hurt you. Not in case you see Gamma. Stand by with a giant shoe. Oh. In order for you to move over a grate, you've got to swallow something solid first. Bob, it's still up to you. You'll have to get closer now. the next watchtower, just a little further. Hydroponic section. Prepare more trees for Insectosaurus. Stand by to lure him into containment. Hypnocopter, stand by. Initiate operation near in headlines. Go, go, go! I say, Bob. The place is absolutely crawling with guards. It is very likely you can sneak past them. However, failing that, I suggest grabbing and throwing them. Or perhaps a good old-fashioned whacking will do the trick.
Keep a low profile, Bob. The last thing we need is to let them know we're here. Hi, I'm Bob. Hey! Over there! Ah, uh, Bob, just for the record, that was not keeping a low profile. <laughs> oh. It's Bob! Deploying pacification weapons! Doing quite well, you know. Behold, the DNA lab is growing. Some pencil shavings and lead scratchings. Ha! What's the big deal? Fuck! <laughs> 
Engaging mark control, this is wing 17. We're continuing our sweep. Say, what's that yellow square on the wall? Look, a doorway! Come on, get through it! Another path! How exciting! Moving into pacification position. Engaging monster pacification weapon. Um, oh no, Susan! Here it comes! Tenacity in an automaton! Aw, oh, tomato. Automaton, Bob. A robot. It makes me wonder what kind of exciting cybernetic intelligence might be controlling it. In fact, it's giving me goosebumps. Use the dash button, Susan. Come on, Susan! I know you can do it! Can't all be super geniuses, can we? Very good! Now you have more choices! You want concepts? I have concepts! How about an electric dog polisher? Uh, okay, it needs work.
at it all! It's magnificent! Ooh, now I'd quite like to you can now perform a chain attack. a jump attack, press the jump button. In order to deliver a stomp attack, And appliances ready to wear and robot control room. Uh, Doc, where's the control room? Hmm, you appear to only be in the robot's chest. You'll have to make your way over to the arm. Your elevator doesn't go all the way to the top. Sounds like a certain bug headed science guy. The missing link, more missiles. What? Thank you. 